Hey, welcome back. So going along, and perhaps the last video in the dark side of real estate, somebody took a jibe at me in the comment section and they said, why don't you talk about the dark side of real estate? So I said, okay, well, we'll talk about Middle Earth and we'll tell you all the secrets and the nefarious parts about real estate in Dubai and perhaps in some other countries as well. And we'll tell you what are the dark sides so you can be wary of them and be careful and avoid them as investors, okay? Look, there is a link below. If you'd like expert advisors to guide you through the investment process, hit it, click it. We'd be more than happy to guide you through the process. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Show real fast. Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, now this one particular thing you want to be very very careful with, okay? Now I'm going to give you a little bit of background in terms of history on this and then I'll give you what the current market situation might be without naming anybody or any of the culprits. Look, back in 2003 to 2008 when Dubai Freehold initially opened up, things were a little bit done from the hip. Things were a little bit organized but I don't pretend, I don't say that it was anybody's fault, okay? Why? Because Dubai had never seen such a property boom in its life. I think nowhere perhaps would have you seen such a property boom in the last 50 or 100 years. So, while 200 nationalities were bringing in money, sometimes really hot money, into the buyer's investment, developers were keeping as much pace as possible as they could. Now, what would happen is, between this period, if a building was being launched, like a long tall tower was being launched in let's say Dubai Marina, okay, this is an actual example. Um, somebody who was vice president of sales in one of the largest companies here told us, what would generally happen is on the launch day, the launch event, they would have desks and people come in and buy the apartments, right? So let's say, it makes sense to have over here about 300 one beds, about 100 two beds, and then about 53 beds. While the sales were ongoing, if demand for the one beds went over 300, let's say it went up to 350, what they would do is they would just simply convert the two bedrooms into one bedrooms and you know just keep up with demand and continue with the sales now what this does is obviously that's not how real estate supposed to be practiced right what you've done with respect to the planning by the consultant on the building is what should be followed because the zoning the roads the parking everything gets affected if you actually increase the mixture or you play with the mix okay so now what happens generally because we have Dubai land department and under Dubai land department we have the RERA which is real estate regulatory agency anything that gets launched technically the mix has to be explained to RERA the parking the consulting everything has to be pre-submitted before the sales can happen now Dubai is going through that boom time again where tons and tons of people are trying to come here and invest and buy so what's happening in I've seen this recently mix of apartments with the tier 3 developers are being changed okay now if you're going to one of these tier 3 or tier 4 or tier 5 developers and you're buying one of these apartments guess what you don't know maybe at the time of purchase there are there's a good healthy mix of one two and three bedroom apartments by the time you're taking handover of the building the entire building is only one bedroom apartments the developers sold the apartments so they're in good stead but if the building mix changes, guess what? The population of the building changes, the usage of the elevators, the gym, and so on and so forth changes. Your experience will change. Long-term longevity of the building will change. There's a lot of factors that will affect your buying decision 
if this changes from this to this. So my suggestion is if it's tier two, tier three, tier four, actually tier three, four, five developers, check with Rira that they are actually registered and what they're selling is what they're supposed to be selling. They do have to go through a process before they make the sales, but still it's your job to also still actually decide, decide to hire an expert advisor. Hey, hire us, right? Have us on your side, there is a link below. Okay, click it, hit it. Let's see if we're good fit to work with each other. Last but not the least, hit the like, subscribe and bell icon. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007 I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.